Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. So friends, on this video, we will see how we can prevent our users in our organization to create private as well as shared channels in Teams. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's start our today's video demonstration. So friends, before we proceed to our lab environment, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe and please press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So friends, on previous video, I've shown you how we can create, uh, you know, the team inside teams and uh, we how what is the difference between three types of channels. So on this video, we will see how we can, you know, prevent our users to create private as well as shared channels in teams. So for that, uh, we have to be, uh, you know, the teams admin and uh, uh, one more reason uh, that we are preventing our users to create a private and shared channel. As I've explained to you in my previous video, uh, whenever we create, you know, the private and shared channel, one additional SharePoint sites gets created. The, this is the reason we don't want our users to create, you know, private and shared channel. Uh, whenever we create, you know, any standard channel, uh, the documents which we will be uploading in the standard channel, those documents uh, only resides inside our team channel demo, which means uh, the site, which is a teams connected site uh, channel demo, those documents resides inside the same site channel demo, unlike a private and shared channel. So friends, let's see how we can prevent our users to create private and shared channel. So uh, now we are on our M365 portal and here I will open my M365 admin center. Okay, uh, I will click on this navigation menu i will click on show all and uh, you could see there is an admin center with the name of teams so if it the teams admin center is not listed here you could you can click on all admin centers and there you can find teams admin center so we'll open teams admin center okay friends so now we are on our M microsoft teams admin center you have to just you know expand this uh, teams tab and here you would find the third option teams policies if you will click on this here you can see one, you know, the policy is there with the name of global organization wide policy. So basically this policy is, uh, you know, is used to control uh, the settings features available for the users uh, when they are using the teams and channels. So you can create a, a brand new policy, but uh, for this video demonstration, I will just simply add it the existing policy because this is already organization wide default policy. So I have not created this policy, but uh, this policy is created by default. So I will click on this uh, name of this policy and here you can see we are getting the option create private channels the toggle is on and create sh shared channels the toggle is again on. So you can uh, we will just simply toggle it off and uh, once you will toggle this off you can you have to click on apply. So it will prompt you a message uh, like changes to the default have an impact across the organization and can't be rolled back immediately. So, uh, you know, uh, basically this will take some time to get uh, effect. It may be, you know, up to six hours or eight hours. So you have to just simply click on confirm. So uh, in my organization, I basically do not want, uh, you know, to prevent users to create private and shared channels because it is required in my organization. So I will just simply cancel this. But I'm just telling you, like, if you will toggle this off and click on apply after, you know, some time when you will make these changes, on the teams, uh, when the user will click on the three dots and click on add channel, this, uh, you know, the remaining channel, remaining apart from the standard private and shared channel will, you know, disappear. You will, users will not be able to create these two, you know, channels. So friends, that's how by, you know, just modifying the policy, you can prevent your users to create private and shared channels in your organization. That's conclude our video demonstration. For more informative videos, you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos. I will see you guys in next video.